Hello and welcome to SCAT TV, Somerville Community Access Television. I'm Joe Lynch. And I'm Kyanne Anderson. We are the hosts of Greatest Somerville on SCAT TV. It is our pleasure to present this SCAT TV special for the 2013 preliminary elections for Ward 1 Alderman, Ward 3 Alderman, and Ward 5 School Committee Representative. The preliminary election will be taking place on September 24th, 2013. For the first time in many years, Somerville voters will be presented with multiple candidate choices for four Ward Alderman seats, the Alderman at Large positions, and four school committee representative slots. In our first round of election specials, all nine of the candidates in the September 24th preliminary election for Ward 1 Alderman, Ward 3 Alderman, and Ward 5 School Committee accepted our invitation to the SCAT TV studios and have taped a campaign message to you, the Somerville community. The candidates, some familiar faces, other new faces, are vying for your vote and the privilege of serving as an elected Somerville official. Please stay tuned to learn more about these candidates, their thoughts on the issues, and how they think they can best represent you, your family, your business, and our Somerville community. Ladies and gentlemen, the Somerville 2013 preliminary candidates for Ward 1, Alderman, Ward 3, Alderman, and Ward 5 School Committee. Thank you for watching SCAT TV, and thank you for watching Greater Somerville. Hi everybody, my name is Maureen Bastardi, and I am the Ward 1 Alderman. Elected five times by the residents of Ward 1 to represent them on the School Committee, and serving as Alderman this past year has truly been an honor and a privilege. I am grateful for the experience in city government that I brought with me from the school committee to the Board of Aldermen, for I believe if I did not have that experience, I would still be looking for the light switches up at City Hall. Born and raised in Somerville and living in Ward 1 for the past 25 years, I can honestly say I love Ward 1. I love Ward 1 for a lot of reasons. It's bright colors and mixed cultures, it's fiercely loyal people, the library, the boxing club, Assembly Square and Patsy's Bakery, the dog park and summer streets, and the fact that Paul Revere rode his horse down the middle of Broadway. I love Ward 1 for its lifelong residents who can tell me the history of the nunnery grounds in a heartbeat and for its new residents who bring a willingness to volunteer and a fresh point of view. I love Ward 1 for the little Spanish-speaking gentleman who, who gives me a wink and a smile every time he serves me a cup of coffee and I love it for the teenagers playing basketball in the park on a Sunday who stop and say hi to me. And I love Ward 1 because I know everyone there wants to be involved. I know everybody there wants what's best for their neighborhood and best for this city. And I love Ward 1 because we are going to make history. We are going to be the ones to usher Ward 1 into the future, and we are going to make Ward 1 the place everybody wants to be. But guess what? We already live there. I've worked hard as Alderman, opening lines of communication, encouraging participation and involvement, informing, trying to break down language barriers and addressing the needs of all residents. I am committed to running a clean, respectful campaign, and I am committed to an inclusive, open form of government, but most importantly, I am committed to the residents of Ward 1 that it is not my opinion that counts, but the opinion of the residents whom I represent that matters. I have put my community before myself, and I will continue to do so as long as you continue to allow me to be your alderman. Thank you. Hi, my name is Matthew McLaughlin, and I'm running for alderman in Ward 1 in East Somerville. I believe I represent something old and something new about Somerville. I was born and raised here in Somerville, and I graduated from Somerville High, class of 2000. So I know what makes this city great and also where we need to make improvements. I also represent something new in that I don't play the same old political games. I'm about action and everything I have done in my life speaks to that action. This is my first time running for office, but it isn't my first service to the community. I served two tours in Iraq in the Army, attaining the rank of Sergeant. While deployed, however, our city and state lost more young people to substance abuse and violence than we did in both the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Our city also saw a rapid change that displaced many longtime residents. I returned home specifically to work on these problems that our city, particularly young people, face. 
I returned home and co-founded Save Our Somerville, a nonprofit representing the issues of youth and working families. I served as the president of SOS and worked tirelessly on such issues as affordability, jobs, youth services, parks and open space, and substance abuse. I helped bring the first and only skate park to Somerville at Kelly Park. I have also promoted local artists with community murals at every park we have worked on. I fought for Somerville first hiring on any development in the city and will continue to do so. I have years of experience serving the community. Now I would like to take the next step and extend my service to East Somerville. I want to, I I want to represent East Somerville in particular because it is full of the people that need my help the most. East Somerville has the highest density of young people, elderly, minority groups, and working and struggling people. These are the people that are most often forgotten in the political system. These are also the people I have strived to represent and will continue to do so. East Somerville deserves someone who will work relentlessly for them. I feel I am the candidate that has consistently put Somerville people before everything else. I have the best track record of service and it will not take a great imagination to envision what my service as alderman would be like. I encourage everyone to look at all the candidates and decide who is most likely to work hardest for them. I believe that person is me and I believe I have proven it time and time again. I hope to get your vote on September 24th. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Elio LaRusso and I'm running for Alderman in Ward 1. I'm a lifelong resident of East Somerville. My story is like so many people in our city. My parents are both immigrants who moved to America to make a better life. My father started his own small business, Somerville Ornamental Ironworks, in 1969. Today, it's still at the same location in East Somerville. I attended the Little Flower School on Franklin Street in Malden Catholic High School. I earned my BA in criminal justice from Suffolk University and went to work for my dad's business, which now I run. We now have eight full-time employees and are a leader in the ornamental ironworks industry. I'm running for Alderman because I believe I can represent the people of Ward 1 effectively. Our neighborhoods and our city are at crossroads. Many exciting things are happening in East Somerville, from the Assembly Square development to the revamping of East Broadway. And I have the relationships and experience to deliver solid leadership for Ward 1. I won't be a rubber stamp for any administration. If elected, I will work for the people of Ward 1. My top priorities as Alderman will be to tackle the rodent crisis in our neighborhoods, make sure a proposed development fits the neighborhoods, and bringing City Hall to each neighborhood through office hours. I know that it's the people who live in our city that make Somerville special, not the politicians. Please visit my website, eliolarusso.com, and share your ideas for a better Somerville. If I haven't already been at your doorstep to ask for your vote, I will soon be there. I hope I can earn your support. Thank you. I'm Suzanne Bremer, and I'm running for Alderman here in Ward 3 because Somerville is changing, and it falls to us to lead this change. For Somerville to be an even better place to live while keeping Somerville the place we love, we need a strong, independent voice at City Hall. I want that voice to be our voice. I want our voice to determine the changes that are coming to Somerville. I've been proud to call Somerville home for the last 20 years. In this time, I've been active in our shared life. Most recently, I successfully led the Community Action Agency of Somerville, the city's leading anti-poverty agency, through a major crisis. In this time, I've come to love Union Square, the Prospect Hill Monument, and the dynamic energy of our city. In this time, I've come to love the people who live here, and I've met a lot of you. I've probably knocked on your door. I apologize for the interruption, but to meet the tasks that are ahead of us, we must be connected. We face a critical period in the history of our city, and we need to get it right. The Green Line extension must create economic development without destroying communal ties, attract businesses that work for us while letting us work for them, and keep Somerville the home we know and love. We must lead the charge on these changes and not let the changes lead us. We need to make absolutely sure that we can safely cross the streets in Union Square, that our narrow residential streets are not further clogged with traffic, 
that local businesses can still succeed, and that housing remains affordable. At the first meeting of my kitchen cabinet, my closest advisor pointed out that I ask a lot of questions, and that people expect their aldermen to have answers. What I offer tonight is a framework, a way for us to get answers. The best way forward is for us to go together. I want us to accomplish these changes together. I want our shared communal values of respect and fair play to guide our goals and shape Somerville for future generations. I'm a librarian, and as your alderman, I'll do what librarians always do. I will listen to your questions, understand your hopes and concerns, and work with you to find answers to the challenges that lie ahead of us. The task falls on us to make Somerville an even better place to live while keeping Somerville the place we love. I ask your trust in, the, in this endeavor, and together we'll build a better Somerville. That's why I'm running for Ward 3 Alderman. That's why I'm asking for your vote on sub Tuesday, September 24th. Thank you. Hello, my name is Stephen Delaney, and I'm a candidate for Alderman in Ward 3. I have been a resident since 1995 when I married my wonderful wife, Virginia. My boys, TJ and Nick, are graduates of Somerville High. Virginia and I love this city so much that we bought our home on Berkeley Street in 2004. The reason I am running again is exactly the same I represented to you two years ago when I ran against Alderman Taylor. I am not part of the current political process, nor do I work for the city. That being said, if I am elected, I will not rubber stamp anything. I do not owe anyone any favors. Here is my commitment to you, the voter. I will support those proposals which benefit my ward, create jobs and revenue for the city of Somerville, and benefit you, the voter. I have worked in retail since 1991, and I have held numerous positions, from a seasonal associate at Caldor many years ago to a local store manager of a national chain. I have had many years of experience in running a multi-million dollar local business operation, as well as balancing budgets. I believe that a city is like a business within the community and ought to be run like one rather than routinely passing on its expenses to its residents and spending beyond its means. As you can see, I'm pro-business and will support and certainly support lower taxes and fees for Somerville residents. I believe the more prosperous businesses we encourage to locate in Somerville will create more tax revenues for Somerville, as well as bring more jobs to this wonderful city. Our budget in 2012 was $175 million, and is projected in 2014 to be 195 million, which is an increase of 11%. In the same time span, our property taxes have gone from 102 million to 115 million, a whopping 6.3% increase. I believe that our budget increase could have been reduced substantially or even cut in half by avoiding putting the tax burden on the residents, such as significant increase in our property taxes. In these tough economic times with the price of everything such as gas and food going up, not to mention our ever-increasing water bills, we need to watch every dollar. I will work to reduce the budget back to a more acceptable level and pass on the savings back to a residence of Somerville. If you believe the city needs change, now is your chance to make it happen. I would like the honor of representing you, but I need your help. Please vote for me in the primaries of September 24th and once again on November 5th. You can make a difference. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. Tell the current elected officials it's time for change. During the process of getting on the ballot, I was at the Memorial Day Parade and visited as many homes as possible to meet each of you and ask for signatures as well as to hear your concerns. I work alone. I do not have a political team out there. For those of you that sign my nomination papers, thank you. I still need your help. There will only be two winning candidates elected in the primary election process that will continue on with the final election in November. Please get out and vote for Stephen Delaney on November, um, September 24th and hopefully once again on November 5th. Thank you for your time and support. Hello, my name is Matthew Desmond and I live at 70 Highland Ave with my wife Kristen and our one-year-old son Thomas. I have lived in Somerville for 34 of my 35 years and in Ward 3 for 28 of those years. I have been giving back to Somerville for over 15 years not only as the high school basketball and baseball coach, but as a volunteer coaching Little League Baseball, Pop Warner Football, and Youth Basketball. For the past 11 years, as a volunteer for the Brian Higgins Foundation for Special Needs Children and their families. And for the last three years at the Somerville Youth Development and Boxing Club as a tutor and mentor for our most at-risk children. Somerville is a great place to live, a place we'd like to raise our family. However, considering both the 
both the current cost of housing and the clout developers seem to maintain, I question whether I can afford to live anywhere in Somerville, let alone Ward 3. The decision of Tom Taylor and my father, Bruce Desmond, to not seek re-election creates a tremendous void of nearly 50 years of combined service and expertise enjoyed by the residents of Ward 3. It also opens a new window of opportunity to bring new energy and new ideas into City Hall that is growing by leaps and bounds, while still protecting and respecting the very people that made it great, our senior citizens. We can never lose sight of what all this new development brings upon them. Higher taxes, increased fees, rents that have been rising and will continue to rise with the expansion of the Green Line, all put an unfair burden on our seniors who live on a fixed income. I see an opportunity to make a difference, an opportunity to work towards a Somerville that is affordable to all classes of people, supported by the creation of a truly open government that reaches out to its residents and taps into the vast array of expertise and experience that exists in this city. Not to si simply seek input, but to actually put those ideas and suggestions up for open discussion and consideration and not to be threatened by new or unconventional ways of do solving problems. Over the coming months, I will be knocking on your door to introduce myself and share thoughts and concerns about Somerville and Ward 3. What is working? What can we do better and how? Through these discussions, I hope to earn your confidence and your vote. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bob McWaters, candidate for Ward 3 Alderman. Currently, I am the clerk to committees to the Board of Aldermen. I am a lifelong resident of Somerville. I have been involved in, in many social aspects of the city. Currently, I'm on the Board of Directors at the Little Sisters of the Poor. I've also been a member of the Board of Health in Somerville. I've also been on the Clarendon Hills Tenants Association. This is the first time in 26 years that this seat is being vacated. Uh, the residents and constituents of Ward 3 need a proven leader. I feel like I am that person. Uh, I have the experience. I've been serving as the clerk to committees to the Board of Aldermen for 18 years. Uh, I was appointed by Mike Capuano back in 1995, reappointed by Mayor Dorothy Kelly Gay, and reappointed by Joe Curtitone. There are many issues facing Ward 3 at this time. I think there's a clear choice in this race. You want proven leadership and proven a proven alderman who can hit the round, ground running and I believe that's me. I respectfully and humbly ask the voters of Ward 3 to look at all the candidates, their experience and their background. And I humbly request and ask that you vote for Bob McWaters. Uh, from Spring Hill to Prospect Hill, McWaters matters. I will be there. I understand what it is to be an alderman. Constituent services are very important. Uh, if elected, if you have any issue, I'll be at your door and I will discuss it. I will do my best to help you. If I can't solve your problem, uh, I, I will tell you, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to just come, speak to you, and try to resolve any issue. I thank SCAT TV for allowing me to come before them, and I hope you get out and vote September 24th for McWaters Matters from Spring Hill to Prospect Hill. Hi, I'm Laura Patone and I'm running for school committee in Ward 5. Thank you to SCAT for this opportunity to talk with you. My husband Tom and I have lived in Somerville for over 12 years and our two children, Ethan and Avery, attend the Somerville Public Schools. I am running for a school committee because children in Ward 5 and citywide deserve access to a public education on par with the best districts in Massachusetts. Somerville is an innovative and diverse community. We need experienced school leaders who have an intimate understanding of our schools, who are deeply involved in our community, and who will be both creative and responsible about meeting the needs of all students. For the past six years, I have been involved in decision making on real educational issues in Somerville, such as approaches to teaching and learning, enrollment in our early childhood programs, improving hiring practices, and expanding parent involvement. I have been on the Healy School Improvement Council for three years during the challenging process of redesigning the school. I've collaborated with parents, teachers, and administrators, all with very strong and very diverse opinions on how to best meet the needs of all students. I've also co-chaired an independent parent-teacher organization, worked as an officer of the school nonprofit, participated in the PTA, and volunteered in the classrooms for the last six years, tutoring and supporting student learning. As Ward 5 school committee member, my priorities would be 
collaboration, smart investment, and early support. Collaboration means allowing parents, teachers, and administrators to work together to define priorities and make things happen, and giving the teachers the time to learn from one another and be creative in their teaching. Smart investment includes being efficient about our current resources, making careful long-term investment in targeted areas such as early childhood education and college and career guidance at the high school, and creatively exploring new sources of revenue and community support. My third priority is early identification of support and support of students with specific needs such as learning challenges, English as a second language, and social emotional support. Getting kids the help they need earlier frees up more resources for all students. Professionally, I've worked as an engineer and a business technology consultant. I'm analytical and made my living for years doing research, combining information from different sources, and leading groups to solve problems and create new opportunities. These experiences have helped me in my work supporting the schools, and I look forward to the opportunity to have a positive impact on all the schools in the city. Through my campaign, it has been a pleasure to speak with passionate people about schools in Somerville. I have real experience in, demonstrated commitment to, and a strong respect for the Somerville Public Schools. Please help build the best schools for our students and community by supporting me, Laura Patone, for School Committee in Ward 5. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ross Richmond, and I'm running for School Committee in Ward 5. I live over on Albion Street, and I'm a volunteer math tutor at the Kennedy School, where I tutor fourth and fifth graders. I work for the Higher Education Committee at the State House, working on education policy, and I come from a family of educators. My mother was a teacher and currently a Boston Public School principal, so I have experience, a lot of experience in history and public education. It's where I come from and what I care a lot about. I'm running for school committee to put schools at the center of everything we do here in Somerville. Right now, 80% of residents don't have kids in the school system, so education is off to the side for a lot of folks. With all the change that's happening here, I think now is the time to make sure everyone is invested in our schools so we can put them at the center of our vision for Somerville. As a member of the school committee, I want to make sure that every family has access to pre-kindergarten. Right now, those who can afford it send their children to pre-K and do, and that's great, and those who can't often miss out, creating an achievement gap by the time they reach kindergarten. I'll work hard to make sure every child has access to pre-K. I will also work to ensure that all students can attend great schools right in their area, because I believe the importance of community in our neighborhoods where we live. A strong Somerville must have strong schools, and now is the time to put schools at the center of everything we do here in Somerville. So I ask for your vote on Tuesday, September 24th. I've been out knocking doors all summer, and I'll continue to work hard to reach out to you if you haven't yet had a chance to meet me. If you have any questions, please call me at 617-863-0177 and be sure to visit rossrichmond.org. Thank you. Hello, my name is Caroline Shea Rosas and I'm a candidate for the Open School Committee seat in Ward 5. My husband and I have two boys, 7 and 4. One son will be entering second grade at the John F. Kennedy School in Ward 5 and the other will be at the Capuano. Becoming involved in my children's education motivated me to volunteer in our schools. I have served as the secretary of the Capuano PTA, and I am currently the treasurer at the Kennedy PTA, as well as the secretary for the Citywide PTA Council. I hope to be your next school committee representative in Ward 5. I believe in and care about our outstanding students and dedicated staff. They are the heart and soul of our community. I want to continue to work to improve our schools and ensure that our children receive the best possible education given the resources available. We have an amazing pre-K program that gives our children an educational leg up and helps them build bonds with teachers and friends. I am fortunate to have experienced it firsthand. We also need to apply more resources to the middle schools and high school program. This should include expanding our guidance counseling program to help students make the right decisions and know what options are available to them. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and your views on our schools. I will take your hopes and turn them into action so together we can continue to build a stronger school district. I will encourage parents and guardians to be more involved in our schools especially within our classrooms. Having parents and guardians volunteer in our schools enriches our students' education experience. As our school committee representative, I will continue to foster an open-door policy by promoting communication between home and school. I will advocate for every school to have the resources it needs for all students to excel. Our stu schools and our students already benefit from incredibly talented, thoughtful, and committed teachers, staff, and administrators. Additional paraprofessionals throughout our schools will be an asset to not only our students but our teachers. 
In my professional experience as a director in client operations at Blackboard, an education software company, I know the importance of technology. By having our students exposed to this educational tool at a younger age, it will benefit them throughout life. Like many parents out there, I am glad that foreign languages have been brought back into our curriculum, and I would love to see this expand into our lower grades. When elected, I am confident that working together, we can achieve our goals. As your next school committee member in Ward 5, I will bring an open mind, a collaborative style, and a commitment to finding solutions that are in the best interest of our students, staff, and community. I hope that I can count on your vote on September 24th. Thank you.